I've been rereading uh, 100 Years of Solitude for the first time since I, about 25, 30 years ago. Already. So this is called Love is Just a Temporary Truth, which is a line from the book. And uh, both of them uh, remained floating in an empty universe where, the only every, where only every day and eternal reality was love. Many years later, as he faced old age, Mr. Michael Murphy was to remember that distant afternoon when his father shouted that he didn't know who he was and kept calling for ice for his drink, even though he had none. He kept on reading his favourite Marquis, even though he had, to, he, had he had lost the plot, and wandered into a world of words without meaning, as his own private Macando, mirror talking to mirror, reflecting only solitude and silence. One could almost see him attaching yellow post-it notes upon everything and anything before they could fade. One upon his son, another on his wife, but they all blew away, for he couldn't remember what the notes said. Soon he would be erased, knowing nothing of the world or of himself. We, of course, loved them all the more, but not even our love could reach him. Uh, Donald, you say? Oh, yeah. I've been Donald for most of my life. That's what the name I was given when I was born. I was only two pounds. And Irish sense of humour, I was called Donal because Donal means world mighty spear power. <laughs> so my mother, I was having a you chat. You changed your name, clearly. <laughs> uh, my mother uh, changed all that all of a sudden. This is called Essequam Vidiri, which means to be rather than to seem to be. It was the family motto of the Hopkins family. And Jared Manley himself said, what must it be to be someone else? And it's the honour of my cousin Honoro Sullivan becoming yet again a great grandmother. My God, she's amazing. There I am, all two pounds of me, and nameless as yet. And so for all these 67 years, it's a donal I've been. Haven't been anything else all my life. But now, with Storm Kieran roaring in, I remember me ma'am telling me that I was due to be a Kieran. Because of my hair, black as anything and side bur bur burns to boot. I was absolutely doing my best Elvis impersonation. And this was, after all, 1956. She said I was her own little dark-haired one. And would I have been a different man, I sometimes wonder? Would the name change the who I would have become? I often think of this alternative self. Wonder how he got on in a parallel universe. But a donal I was and have remained. So I guess I will just have to learn to live it myself. And Donal, of course, transforms into the Irish world mighty spear power. A hard name to be sh to live up to, to be sure. Uh, but I'll give it a good call. Ah, you've done your best, haven't you? Yes. <laughs> uh, this is called History About to Happen. The language of time nails the sky and the sea together, making the horizon smile with a new light, and so day is spoken into existence, sky and sea the same, bound inseparably. The morning fragments into the many men going about their lives, each man tied to his own thought, imprisoned in self. The battle is but moments away, history about to happen. It is Sunday, yet war doesn't stop for God, both sides fervently believing that he is on their side. The opening salvo tears a man's head off, his thoughts lost forever. The battle commences, time tells its tale. Mm. There you go. Uh, this is called a poet's work. I was often sick, as I'm often sick now, and I used to be at home with my mother doing all the housework and everything like that, and I'd help her and... And uh, she'd always say the same little litany all the time. Oh, my God, 12 o'clock, another child in the whole house washed. And, of course, all the children were at school, but she'd always say that. <laughs> so this is called a poet's work. Oh, my God, is that the time? 12 o'clock, another poem in the house written. Quick, wash those adjectives. Quick, bathe those verbs. Feed those nouns. 
Have you adverbs gone back to bed? Come on, <laughs> smile like a simile. No, don't wear the same metaphors you wore yesterday. <laughs> ah, and so with a little playful smack on the BTM, the poem is sent off into the world. See ya. Be good. A poet's work is never done. <laughs> <laughs>